Good morning, happy Thursday. Man, my week is all jacked up. Going to the office on a Wednesday and working from home on Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. And, and this morning I said, ooh, it's Friday, which means we're gonna get off at noon. I was so excited and then I was like, no, Tracy, no, today's Thursday. Your week's all jacked up. But we had a nice luncheon yesterday. We had the barbecue. My boss said, well, I think we need to get a pie. Now, Williamson Brothers Barbecue is known for their pies. I said, okay, what kind? Because Amy, the person who had the birthday, is much like me in that she has a lot of food restrictions, okay? So we're trying to guess. And I said, well, I know for me, the only pie I would be able to eat is pecan pie because it doesn't have dairy in it. Or at least the pecan pies I've seen do not have dairy in them. And she said, well, we'll get a pecan pie. She said, well, maybe call Amy and see what she wants. And I said, okay, that, I mean, that's the best thing since she has the food allergies and it's her birthday. Let's see what she wants. So she said, key lime or lemon, just see what everybody else wants between those two, because I'm happy with either one. Cool. Well, I go around and everybody's like, ooh, key lime, key lime. Well, you know what? I would pick key lime too, although I do love a good lemon meringue pie. Everybody's all excited about key lime pie. She calls me back. She said, um, you know, if I'm gonna be bad, I'm just gonna be real bad. So I want chocolate. Um. Everybody's all excited about key lime now. Okay, okay, chocolate. I didn't say that to her. So then Tommy calls and I said, well, first she said key lime and I got everybody all excited about key lime, but now she changed her mind and wants chocolate. Tommy said, well, we're going back and forth. And I said, look, we can just buy me a slice. Now a slice of pie, which is huge, is $6. A whole pie is $25. So Tommy's like, we'll get two slices of pecan and then get the chocolate and the key lime. And we keep going back and forth. And I said, Tommy, two slices of pie versus a whole pie is only gonna save us $12. She goes, yeah, just, just get three pies. We got three pies and they were huge, huge. So we, I brought half of a pecan pie home and took it all to my dad's. I said, you can have all this. I don't want it in my house. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid such things. And mostly I just ate the pecans off the top of it. I love the syrupy sweet stuff, but not a lot of it. And I mean, it was that thick, so I, I couldn't eat all that. Whoop, huh, sidestep. Okay, moving on. We got the pies, got the lunch, everything was great, had a good time, blah, blah, blah. I forgot to tell y'all about going to Jones and the dadgum medical questionnaire that I had to go over with her on the phone. So I told in the video a couple of days ago that she asked me for help. Well, they just texted her a link and I opened it and I had to ask her all these questions. I mean, it was pages and pages and pages of questions. She was like, I've been going to this dentist for years. They have all these records. Why do they need all this? And I said, I don't know. I'm afraid she's gonna have to do it every time she goes because that's the way it is that's the way, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I like it. That's the way it is with my back doctor. I have to answer these stupid questions every time I go to the back doctor, which is every couple of months. So I'm afraid this is gonna be, she goes twice a year. So I'm asking her all these questions. And even though she was very frustrated, she was being quite funny with some of her answers. I was like, herpes, <coughs> AIDS, I said, trouble with anxiety. She said, this is giving me anxiety. <laughs> heart issues. Well, this is causing my heart to race. 
it was pretty funny but I was there for one hour working on all of this on her phone one hour I mean we did talk and chat a little along the way but yeah, mostly what I did was fill out that stupid form of the date of your last cleaning the date of your last x-ray she's like don't they have that oh my geez it was yeah it was extreme okay and then the other thing I want to talk about is we are under attack I got in the car with Tommy yesterday to go get the lunch and we started chatting as we always do right well the first thing she says is did you color your hair no she said it's so dark I said if I was gonna color my hair I would not go darker I have not colored my hair in a couple of years this is just me and she was like man it is so dark and I was like eh, no. I mean mom's hair was black dad's hair was very dark brown so yeah mm, this is what you get but ooh, my shoulder hurts I don't think my adjustment did my shoulder much good this last time mm. anyway we're under attack so I tell Tommy I said my gosh I don't know what's going on but I am being taken over by these little brown moths I said I bought this trap called Dynatrap off QVC and I said I have this invasion of moths and she said oh no 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 I have them too I'm glad to know it's not just me and I said you have them too and she goes yeah <laughs> she said I went out on my back porch and the whole inside of the screen was covered with moths I'm gonna insert a picture of what I took last night they're all over the side of my house I said, well, I thought that because I have that Dynatrap out there that it's drawing them in. You know, the, it's got like a black light type thing on it and it's drawing them in. I said, but then I went to water my fern on the front porch and when I poured water in that pot, I bet you 58 moths, 58, not 59, 58 moths come flying out of that pot where those ferns were. I can't walk out the back door without getting pelted with brown moths. Yeah, we're, it's an invasion. Hold on. So anyway, the moths come flying out of there and oh yeah, I go out the back door and I'm pelted with moths. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. I texted my bestie's husband who is my pest control guy. And I said, is there an invasion of brown moths going on right now? Because it's, it's on such an extreme level that I don't even want to walk outside at night. And he said, no, we have an invasion of army worms. And I was like, well, the army worms I guess technically are not worms, they're caterpillars. And those caterpillars are turning into these moths. So yeah, it started out as the army worm, but now they're moths and they're everywhere. But he said it's because we've been in such a drought, they attack your turf, <laughs> literally at your turf. But they live in grass and they'll kill your grass, which thankfully they haven't killed my grass. But maybe that's because I've been out there with the girls with water and it's a dish soap will kill them. And I've, we've been having dish soap out there. So, hey, maybe I've been helping my lawn some, but I think it's the worm stage that might kill the grass and not the moth stage. I don't know. All I know is I'm getting real tired of walking out my back door and being attacked by moths. So I'm going to show you the picture that I took last night, okay? I'll be back. The rest of this video may be triggering for people who don't like moths. 
I mean, I don't like them, but it's unreal. And the rest of this video is about the moss. Mossage. Okay, so now I'm going to take some water, and I'm going to turn this camera around, and I'm going to pour the water in my fern and see if what happened the other day happens again so that y'all can see the level of mossage. It's a word. Michelle, add it to the dictionary. Okay, stand by. Here is the fern. Okay, no, of course it's not going to happen today. Oh, yep, some of them are coming out. Yep, some. Not as many as the other day. I hope y'all can see them coming out, though. They're just living in the fern. Oh, there goes another one. What I don't want to happen is them getting my house, though. But they're terrible. There was another one. Okay, and this is just moths. Sleeping? Deceased? I don't know. Okay? But, whoop, go on. <laughs> another one just got after me. But this is full, and I need to unplug it and empty it. But, I mean, it is full of moths. That is the only thing that this thing has caught. And it has caught a lot. Look at the stuff. The remnants. I'm going to have to scrub. Oh, it's so disturbing. Someone told me to bring the moths out in the yard. It might have been Pat. I don't remember. But they said, dump the moths in the yard so the birds can eat them. Well, I'm afraid when I open this thing that some live ones may come out, but I'm gonna film it anyway for your viewing pleasure. a lot of moths and they're not dead so <laughs> not all of them some of them are I'm sorry to bring you into my terrifying world of mothage, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember that I love you, Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, my noodles. Stay silly, my friends. Smile. Piss people off, make people happy, or just make them wonder what you've been up to. I got this shirt from I'm a Survivor. That is their horse, Voo, D-O-O. He was injured. He came down on a tea post and they were selling t-shirts to help pay for the hospital bills because he had to be in ICU at Texas A&M. He's home now and doing fine, but I just want to show off my t-shirt. <laughs> okay, bye.